drugs or therapies that are available um, or vaccines that are available against any of these emerging coronaviruses. The vaccines that were developed against SARS are not likely to work against this virus because it is so different in terms of its surface glycoprotein. There are two drugs that have been uh, described from our group that are called nucleoside analogs and they basically block virus replication um, that work well in a variety of different mouse, mouse and primate models. Uh, those, but those have not been approved for use, so they'd only be able to be used under experimental conditions. So the 2019 uh, novel coronavirus is basically a kissing cousin of SARS. So they are phylogenetically related. That means if you look at all the sequences, these viruses are similar to SARS, but they're about 20% different. So one out of every five nucleotides in the genome may be different. Uh, what's clear is that the virus is spreading efficiently and uh, the number of cases is dramatically increasing. Uh, they have, uh, there have been various reports that came out of China from health ministers that said that community spread was occurring and efficient uh, transmission within a family cluster can occur. That's actually quite different than SARS and MERS. In those outbreaks, um, most of the, the hubs for transmission and expansion of the epidemic was associated with hospitals and infections of healthcare workers. They're try obviously trying mask quarantine. Uh, you're not allowed to go out on the streets unless you wear masks. Washing your hands, um, canceling any kind of large um, community associated gatherings uh, to limit contact from people. Those kind of uh, broad-based uh, public health intervention strategies, uh, some of them work really well, some of them may or may not work. That's pretty much what their, their options are.